Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. A full grown adult dog who is so needy and needs attention at all hours of the day. So I actually have to take Pork to his first vet appointment. I mean, it's not his first. First technically he went when he was a puppy, but it's been almost five years and he hasn't been to a vet since then, which I'm sure it's honestly not that big of a deal. I know a lot of people who don't take their dogs to uh, vets for checkups or anything and they've lived 15 to 20 years and nothing is wrong with them. But with the apartment that I live in right now, he needs paperwork. He needs to be registered in this city, which I've never heard of before, but it's a thing for this apartment complex. And also they need his most recent uh, records for immunizations and shots vaccines and stuff like that. <laughs> we are running late. What's new? Let's go. <laughs> Ready, dude? Ready to get some shots, dude? You don't know a thing. You don't know a thing, don't you, buddy? <laughs> so I just dropped him off with uh, the technicians and you know, I thought he was going to be very much like, don't go mom, I'm going to miss you and crying and all that. But once I handed uh, him off, he didn't look back. He just went. All he cared about was the leash. So, yeah, he's in there right now. We can't go inside. So I was kind of bummed about it. I kind of wanted to see what was happening and how he like, reacts to it. But... Yep, he's gonna get some rabies shots and some DH something. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna put it to you. Fuck me! God damn it. <laughs> Good job, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we just got back from the vet. So he ended up getting a rabies shot and a DHPP shot. But those were the ones that were recommended for him right here, right now. But I got some of his information. He is 82.8 pounds. Damn, son. You're a big boy. 82.8 pounds. I think, honestly, the apartment complex that I'm at the limit is like 60 pounds, but now um, my dresser just came and now I'm torn. Either I spend the rest of the evening building this dresser or I go to the grocery store and get a few things that I need. Because here's the thing, I haven't been doing my laundry. By doing laundry, I mean like folding my shit after it's clean. I haven't, I have not been doing that. I've just been throwing it in the bottom of my closet because, because I knew I was going to have a dresser coming in soon. It's already three o'clock and I need to decide if I'm going to build this. This is a very heavy dresser. I don't know how heavy dressers are supposed to be, but that bitch heavy. Also, I need to find out if it's like cracked because I've gotten a few pieces from Wayfair before and they're not perfect because I've been looking forward to this like ever since I got it or ordered it online I've been looking forward to it so that my closet can be clean and I can feel motivated to dress cute again honestly that is the whole reason why I have been dressing bummy lately because my closet's a mess you know what I'm not gonna do a whole ass grocery shopping thing I'm just going to get some necessities and those necessities are I've made a list here okay grocery list here we go Peanut butter, because I have these uh, protein balls that I want. Protein balls that I want to make. I need avocado, I need bread, cilantro, lime juice, bars, bread. I put that twice. 
That is important. Cookies question mark? <laughs> and then purple cabbage, shredded carrots, and tortillas. I need um, tomatoes because I've really been into cucumber tomato feta cheese salad. So good. Phoenix introduced it to me not that long ago. Also, I had ramen two days ago, Chick-fil-A yesterday, and today I really want something. I'm being a fat ass when Phoenix is gone. I'm a fat ass for like two days. So I'm gonna I'm gonna build the dresser. I'm gonna build this goddamn dresser. The question right now is do I build this dresser out here in the living room where I have actual space? Or do I build it in my bedroom where I have no space, but that's where the dresser's gonna go. I legitimately have no space in here. I can move the dog bed a little bit. I, I think we can make it work because I really don't want to lift something. I mean, I can lift 100 pounds. But like an odd object 100 pounds, that's a different story. <laughs> I also watched um, To All the Boys I've Loved Before Part 3. It was so bad. <laughs> um, maybe I should flatten it out first. That'd be smart. Why is it so heavy? So I'm used to like Ikea furniture and Ikea furniture is not heavy. So this is a bit frightening or it's a good sign and it's good quality. Whoa. Oh God. This is like a Black, no, it's more like a dark brown woody situation. So this is what I'm talking about when I say I don't do my laundry anymore. I just be throwing them in here. Cause I knew I was gonna get a dresser and I was gonna have to redo all that clothes anyway. So don't judge. <sighs> okay, I've gotten everything out of the box and it looks more complicated than your, uh, your regular Ikea furniture, so. Okay, I'm making progress. Uh, I made some progress. I'm so tired, I've already taken two breaks and I still <laughs> have all this. I just door dashed myself some Chipotle. Usually I get like a bowl or a burrito, but I got a quesadilla this time. I don't know, it just looked really good on the menu thing. Look who it is! <laughs> oh, hi, Bucky! Oh, hi! And Mr. Pooh Bear! And Mr. Pooh Bear! You feeling okay? Oh, literally every time I ask that, he goes, <laughs> he like does that a lot. So I don't know if he's like really puking and like swallowing it again or you're just doing it just to do it. That's not my leaves. That's not my leaves, bruh. You got Mr. Elephant Bubbles. You are the cutest bubbles ever. I love you. I gotta continue. I'm gonna finish this portion. And when I get close to done, I'll let you know. Or when my, or when my DoorDash comes in, I'll let you know. <laughs> Guess what? Yeah. Guac. Mm. <sighs> You've probably seen or heard this a, a lot of places. 
don't build furniture by yourself. I ran into so many problems and I couldn't hold this one piece over another piece and oh my god there's just so much shit that happened and it would have been so nice if I had another body here. Also that Chipotle didn't do my stomach well. I was farting right here in the same place for the past hour and now it just smells like shit here. It just smells like shit. So it smells like shit. I'm pissed. I'm tired. I'm sweating. I already took a shower this morning but guess what? I'm gonna have to take another one. I gotta get up at 3.30 in the morning tomorrow. I have one more dresser that I need to build. So you're gonna watch me build it. And you're gonna enjoy it. I'm done. There are styrofoam pieces everywhere. So I'm gonna go clean up and I'm gonna clean up. <laughs> 